They're my favourite bird. Full stop. I'm absolutely enthralled by them. They are an amazing creature. Nothing like it in the animal world. And I have to admit, I'm not meant to admit this as a zoologist, but I, they're very human-like. And I find that makes them all the more fascinating to me. He will craft his own drumstick. He'll snip off the branch and he'll whittle it down, strip all, off all the bark, and then he'll grasp it in his foot and he'll bang on the side of the tree hollow. And he does it in a way that's really quite rhythmic. It's very unusual in the, in the bird world or in the animal world because most of the time when animals make tools, it's for the purposes of uh, foraging, you know, finding things to eat. Um, this is the only case that we know of where a tool is made for the purposes of a sexual display. The population we were studying has an extraordinarily low rate of reproduction. It's the slowest we know of in the bird world. The females only lay one egg in their clutch every two years at most. That's normal, that's natural. But uh, we found that that one egg had a very high chance of not making it. So uh, the predators were coming in and either killing it at the egg stage or the chick stage. And on average, it was taking each female 10 years to produce one young. The point of our paper was to sound the alarm bells and to say that this magnificent creature in our northern rainforests is in fact in peril and the numbers are going down very, very quickly. They're very important for the ecosystem. They disperse the rainforest seeds. They have these massive great beaks and they're the only creatures that can break into some of the largest seed pods. It's quite a remote area and people don't know about it. So I'd really love it if people just knew what they had on their own soil and um, if more people could get up there and see them and appreciate them, I'd be very, very happy about that.